Hey Capricorn, how are you doing my loves? I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, awesome day. Capricorn, this is your December love reading. And please, 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 please forgive me. I am late with them, I know. Um, I did half of the Zodiac last weekend and you got this weekend. That's just how it went. And that's just the way it go, cause you know, life, life is life. And uh, I work a, a, a full-time job, so, and I travel over an hour to get there, back and forth. So, you know, the weekend is the best time for me to do these reason, readings, so this is why it is, you had to wait a week. <laughs> but my apologies. Okay. All right. Capricorn, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. I'm going to tell you something, Capricorn. It took me a minute to get into your energies because as soon as I started connected to your energies, my stomach started hurting. I had instant hunger pains. It, 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 it started twisting and turning. And I'm like, I oh, know that. I wasn't even hungry. I'm, them hungry pains came instant, and I'm not hungry. They came and went, you know, so I knew that wasn't my energy. So, Capricorns, if you having, you could be hungry right now. You could be, you know, needing to eat right now. But I wanted to say, if you have any type of stomach itch, issues that is not normal, please go check it out. That's the message that I got. Um, yeah, I'm hearing ulcers, okay? intestinal tract issues diarrhea i don't want to get too graphic sorry but those on, along those lines okay all right um let's get into it holy spirit holy angels thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good of my collective capricorns heavenly father i pray that you will send clear and precise messages through my archangels my spirit guides my ancestors of love and light heavenly father i pray that you'll protect me and my energies as i'm open up to you to receive these messages in the name of jesus i love you i praise you and i thank you amen all right baby Let's rock. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He here. Yeah, he, he, he never leaves, but yeah. Okay. I hear. Okay. What is the leading energy for my Capricorns regarding love in the month of December? They sticking. Okay. They sticking. So Capricorn, you could be sticking, sticking around, sticking to it. Something. Can you kick it out, Holy Spirit? I appreciate it. They see. <laughs> I like the way they, that that. Oh wait, wait, that's too many. Kick out one, please. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. But they like yes. <laughs> Holy Spirit, so precious. Here we have recognition and reward. He's sticking it out. Uh huh. Very humbled here. You very humbled. Feel like you feel like you hit the jackpot. <laughs> Recognition and reward. Yeah, you're being recognized and, recognized and rewarded for being humble. Boom. Yep. And this is this is, it's very... Um, you know you're going to be recognized and be rewarded because you're humble. Yep. <laughs> this is why you're humble. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. <laughs> it's something dealing with love that you either standing your ground, mm -hmm, standing up on the platform of your decisions. Here, this is the reason why you're being recognized and rewarded because of decisions here, because you humble. Uh -huh. Oh, look at high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Intuition. You, you, I told you, you knew. You, I, I told you, you knew that you was gonna be recognized and rewarded. For being humble in love. Boom. Go ahead with yourself, Capricorn. Let's uh, get a supporting energy. What's up under that? Emotional withdrawal. And throw chakra. I heard back, back out, back down. With this emotional withdrawal. And this high priestess. This is the energy of you not being 
emotional let me get the words you're not being controlled by your emotions boom nah you're not being controlled by emotions here you know where to put your emotions and you know where to uh uh not put your emotions it's like you're this is that humble you know when to get emotional and you know when not to get emotional here uh-huh this is why you're so humble this is it's, it's yeah because you you're not you're not you don't let emotions lead who you are how you love what the things that you do yeah you you this is why you're so humble because you are not led by emotions with this emotional withdrawal and the high priestess oh yeah this is the energy of somebody who know when to pull it in and when to pull it out put it in and or pull it out you see what i'm saying this is a very 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 spiritually intelligent energy you know when to get emotional and you know when not to this is why you're so humble Woo! Throw chakra here. Okay. Let's get a supporting energy. Holy Spirit. Where is the supporting energy of the leading energies for my Capricorns? We got thank you. Upright. Thank you. It came out in reverse. This is, and they told me to put it in the upright. It's the reason why it came out in reverse. But it's the reason why they told me to put it in the upright. So we're going to see what's in the tarot regarding that. But it's believe and succeed. Believe and succeed came out in the reverse. Something you wasn't solid about. Something that you didn't have a lot of hope and faith in. It was something that you didn't believe in or felt that you couldn't achieve or succeed either within yourself or within a connection this is how it came out my spirit guides and holy spirit said put it in the upright my ancestors in the upright i, I hear them when ancestors speak baby i listen and it's through the holy spirit that they spoke up i'm telling you Shit, intuition. You know this. You know when ancestors is talking to you, or you know when the Holy Spirit is guiding you, talking to you, you listening. Something changed. Some type of intuitive hit or insight in the energies of love, it changed from you not believing to believing. That part. You feeling like it ain't going to work to it is. I heard success. This is for some. Uh, hell yeah. Recognition and reward. Honey boom. Yeah. Something that you didn't have a lot of faith and hope in. Turn. It changed. It's because you was listening to your higher self. Or you was listening to your intuition. Or using your intuition to see beyond what was happening now. This is why you're so humble. And this is why you know you're going to be recognized and reward for their efforts of being humble. Following intuition. Things of the sort. It's, it's like you, you know you're in agreement with the most high. But something changed. It went from not to yes. Something like that. At the bottom of the deck, we have balance. <laughs> we have balance. This is the temperance energy, balancing out that masculine and feminine energy here, bringing balance to self. Not only to self, but in a connection as well, because these are just two, two people coming together. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. You know, the balance within yourself regarding love, it's like you, you, you humbled. And because you're humbled, you're balanced here. Okay. What's up under there? Reach out. Emotional withdrawal. Hmm? Okay. Like I said, you know when to give it and when to <laughs> draw it back. With this reach out, you know how to reach out in love. With this emotional withdrawal, you know how to pull back in it. It's because you have balance in your intuitions here. You have balance in you, you it, and, and I, that's the way they said it. That's the way I'm saying it. But I see the energy deeper than that. So let me find the words. You, 
you know that you have control of how you can act or react to issues regarding love. You know you have that balance. And because you know you have that balance, you know that only good things will come to you now. There was a time and a period where you didn't believe it. But the most high God that was in you told you using and through your intuitions that yes, it is so. You will be recognized and rewarded for having the balance of emotions and love. Okay. I hope I got that all right. And it's because you love a lot. You you your your love it runs deep. It it is root is rooted. It's it's the base of who you are. You you know that it, it's making me feel like you've been hurt by it or disappointed about it by it, or you know, for some of my Capricorns, just cautious about it. Okay, what is the thing? Damn, that's that's deep. What is the thing? We didn't even get to the thing. Here we go. Peace. <laughs> That's a Capricorn for you. <laughs> Mental peace and, 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 and spiritual peace is very important to a Capricorn. Yes, it is. They're, they're earth energy, so they're grounded, they're rooted. And that, 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 that security and peace and, and security of peace of mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The security of peace of mind, that is a Capricorn. They need that. <laughs> That's why they're so humble. Okay, all right. Uh, we have protection at the bottom of the deck. They need that peace. Look how you look. Look at you. Look, you need that peace and security, protection. It's beautiful. This is why you're so humble. You know you are. It's making me feel like Capricorn, you know you took some L's in life and you still remain humble. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Let's see what's up. Holy Spirit. Thank you. You have a flipper. The sun. <laughs> can't make this up. The peace in life. This is your first energy. It's out, Leo. Energy. I told you. Capricorn, you're going to make sure that you have that peace of mind. In life and love. This is why you have balance in your emotions. You could turn it on and turn it off. You could give it or you could uh, retract it. You know, you could take it back. And you still have peace within yourself because your 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 intentions, they 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 on a they shit, they solid. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, yeah. The intentions of a Capricorn, yeah. You know the Cap Let's keep going. Capricorn is a is a is a hmm. let's keep going. All right. I got a okay. Something, yeah, a channel just got blocked. I'm sorry, y'all. I was channeling it, and it just got blocked. So, I, yeah, let's, let's keep going. Holy Spirit, what else? Thank you. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, I told you, the, the, the Capricorn energy is a very grounded, rooted energy here. You are a Capricorn, okay? And it's, it's like peace of mind or peace in the home or peace in your heart is very important. And this is what you're, this is how you're guided by. Uh-huh. Your love is solid because it's solid within yourself, Capricorn. Um, there is somebody here that makes you very, very happy. <laughs> I must say, you, you, yes, it's, it's blissful here. Somebody here makes you very, very happy. Okay. Um, it could be a queen of pentacles, another uh, earth energy Capricorn towards Virgo. But, yeah. And, it, and, it, and it is, they're giving you balance here. Very rooted here. Very nurturing and loving this 
Queen of Pentacles energy. This you or this is the person that makes you feel this blissful with this sun energy. Clarity is here. Yeah. Peace of mind. Look, you got the sun and peace right here. See what I'm saying? That's a very important part for you right now, Capricorn. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? yourself here go justice flipped over but we're gonna look at this one come flying out the deck but justice libra energy is here could be dealing with a libra okay but things are it could be you know what the truth is coming now to balance out these scales that's imbalanced here okay but it's something that you're not seeing yet but it's coming it's like you, you um, yeah it's coming with this sun energy the truth yeah this will be balanced out the truth will come and it'll be balanced out the truth about yourself, the I heard the truth of love is, is coming. And, and and yeah, but something is a little off balance here. But the truth and the clarity of it is here and it's coming and it's going to ground you. And it's, it's like your value will be known. There you go. Yeah, your value is off. Yep. Capricorn, it could, you could feel like your value is, is, is off and you're not being as valued as you know you are or valuable as you know you are. It's being off, but the truth is going to come out to straighten that out with justice in the sun here. This is why this is what's going to ground you. Going to feel you are going to feel appreciated, but it's it's a it's a truth that have to come out for you to feel balanced and appreciated. But it's not quite yet here yet because these scales is off. But this look at this sort of truth justice is holding. So maybe it's an imbalance within you or something that needs to be you know. I heard recalibrated. Go ahead with yourself. But it's it's something that you're going to have clarity of, and it's going to ground you and it's going to balance you out off this is you or this is somebody about you they're going to see your value either you're going to see your value in the connection yourself or somebody else is going to see that value and it's going to balance you off because the truth come out about your value okay all right what is this one that flew away <laughs> i felt look I, I could when i'm shuffling i could feel the energy of the cards popping out that one went ping over here what's this <laughs> we have the six of swords in the reverse. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, uh, uh You ain't going nowhere. You're going to work this out. But the justice in the six of swords in reverse is making me feel like you're here for the battle. You're here for it. You're not going to run away for the, from, these ba from these scales that needs to be balanced because the truth came out. You're not a runner. Okay? It, you, you got you to gotta go through this. You got you to gotta endure this. It's feeling like a test now with this justice it's feeling like a test to see if 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 you know your value okay what's at the bottom two of wands yeah you're going for it yeah you're not gonna run yeah let's get some more and what I mean by you're going for it, you you're going after this battle you, you yeah battle already is what I heard because <laughs> they be flipping damn Capricorn these cards are flipping for you what is this <laughs> the queen of cups come flipping out damn <laughs> water sign cast uh, uh, excuse me water sign Pisces can, uh, <laughs> Pisces Scorpio or Cancer I don't know why I kept wanting to say Capricorn when I was trying to say Cancer I almost forgot about Cancer so, five of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, you, it, that could mean something. Something about a cancer here. Um, or, a water, or a water sign. Um, you have two queens out here. And then you have two queens, two feminine energies right here. Surrounding this cup. And this eye on this throat chakra. It's feeling like third eye or evil eye on this throat chakra here. What's up with that? You need to speak up. You need to speak your truth. There's something about speaking your truth. Bells and whistles don't lie. It's something about speaking your truth that you need to speak up. It's like you got 
intuition and insight. This Queen of Cups is very intuitive here. So it's about you speaking your truth when it comes to this Ace of Cups here. Capricorn. Yep, I, I said it with the justice and here it is again. Speaking your truth using your intuition. Okay, um, but you're not gonna run. You're you're in this, you're gonna figure this out, or you're gonna stay until there's a solution to the problem with this justice here. That's what I got. Yeah. Five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some there's some type of sadness or regret here with the three of cups. So three of cups. So some you could be. It's making me feel like you broken free. Um, with the five of cups and the three of cups, it's the eight of cups. So there is some type of sadness, guilt, and regret from walking away or somebody walking away from you that wanted to reconcile with you. But with this seven of swords right here, it's making me feel, Capricorn, that this was you walking away from somebody that is grieving you. And it wasn't in the honest manner with the Seven of Swords. So this is like making me feel like you left somebody for a third party situation. And it could have been because you were disappointed or you're leaving a third party situation because you were disappointed. Okay. One of the two. This is somebody about you or this is you as well. But them three of cups is on the floor and then these three of cups is in the middle so it's making me feel like a disappointment and the extra energy or this is the extra energy that is disappointing in you either because you walked away from them or that's because they walked away from you but that energy is here this is how come you're in control of your emotions it's making me feel like this person could have you could have walked away from this person here uh-huh yeah and that's and that's yeah and that person is grieving that or their energy is you know regretful that you did or something of the sort capricorn okay yeah let's get one more let's get one more thank you well we got two okay um let's see what's at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands brand new exciting offers being handed to you exciting beginnings this is a new this is new this is fresh this is you know you feeling you feeling like a new person here yep you feeling like a new person here um here we have the six of pentacles this is a receptive energy give and take energy and then we have the eight of swords energy right here so um capricorn you could be in your head stuck in your head with your thoughts about if something is going to be fair or somebody going to be giving you as much as you you giving them when it comes to love or emotions here okay this is another reason why too you're very in control of your emotions because you know it could be like you want to see if you're going to get what it is that you want out of a connection here you're very happy with this person but with the eight of swords you this is a little worry here you know you could be stuck in your head about if something's fair or not that's what that feels like yeah but you're not going nowhere because you're going to balance this connection or yourself out in this connection here you know what i mean because it's like you you know you know i heard you know your value and you know what you <laughs> you know what you're doing i heard that one Okay, they know what they doing. <laughs> this is how you feel. You feel like you know what you're doing. So you therefore you know you're gonna give what it is that you deserve out of what you invest or what you put in love. Because there's there yeah, you love love. You want to be loved, you like love, or you like love. <laughs> you love love, you know, so you have a very good understanding about it and control about it within your own emotions. So you're just um trying to play it out trying to play it out yeah yeah that's that peace for the theme of this reading yeah you want peace of mind peace and self and peace in your soul peace in this connection peace in your within yourself in this connection things of the sort yeah <laughs> yep all right capricorn this is what i have for you i'm gonna leave it right here this is a beautiful reading so you know capricorn go ahead and keep doing what you're doing because it's wonderful
and I will see you in the next video, okay? Till then, bye.